Make sure you follow me on social media to get updates and ask me questions. Enjoy the video! Until now, we have learned Vue.js by creating a Vue instance inside an HTML file like we have done here. There is nothing wrong with this approach, but if you want to use the basic features, then this is the way to do. But the real power of Vue.js is when you use a single file component. Single file components end with .view and not .html. So this is why this video is the last one on this series, but don't worry about this. I have created a new series when we will learn Vue.js by using Laravel. Because this is the real power of Vue.js, when you use it with an API or something. So in this very last video, I want to take you through loops. I will create a new file here and I will name this loops.html. And let's start from the beginning. Step one is to create a div that we will mount with Vue.js. So let me create a div here and I will give this an ID or you can give it a class if you want. In my case, I will use this time an ID up. Now below this div, we want to include Vue.js. You can use a CDN for example. So let me grab the CDN from here and I will just paste it. After you include Vue.js, then you just have to create a new script. And here now we can start working on Vue.js. I will create a Vue instance. So new view and this is all. Now I want to mount this view instance to this div right here. To do this we can use the element option. So I will say here L which is a shorthand for element and then we specify the div that we want to mount it to. In our case it is a div with id up so hashtag up. Let's create some data. I will create a list of courses and it will be an array. So we can say courses and this will be an array. So we have a view course and I will give this the title. Title it will be Vue.js and then I will just copy this and create two more. This one will be Laravel and this one it can be JavaScript. Now let's loop through the courses and let me make this courses, not course. So I will create a UL here. And now let's think about this. What do we want to repeat? We want to repeat the LI, a list item. So inside the LI, I will say V4. V4 is a Vue.js directive and it will help us to loop into this courses array right here. So for each course inside in courses, we want to output the title of each course. So course.title. Of course, you can also change course to something else, for example, item. Item in courses. But in my case, I will keep this as course because it makes sense. I want to loop through each course and I want to get the title of the course. So I will save this and I will open this file. So let's take a look. Here it is. So this is the outcome. We loop through each course and we output the title of the course. Suppose we want to add another attribute. For example, I want to add the instructor of the course. Well, you can do that. Instructor. We can say Sara. And for this one, we can say Renato. And for the last one, we can say Erika. So let's also access the instructor of the course. So course title by and then we output the instructor course dot instructor. Let's go back. Here it is. Vue.js by Sara, Laravel by Renato and JavaScript by Erika. Now do you remember when I said that Vue.js is reactive? Let me show you what I mean. If I add a new course in this list here, I want the result to be updated without me doing anything else rather than adding the course. So what I will do is to go back to the sublime text and I will save this view instance in a variable. So var vm equals to the new view instance. So I will go back to this, refresh and open my console. Because we are saving this view instance inside this vm variable, I can access this vm.courses for example. 
So courses is our data right here. And I want to push a new course. So for this, we can use the push method and we can pass the object. So the object has a title. We can say Python. And then it also has an instructor. We can say Frank. So I will press enter and look at this. We just added the new course right here with the title of the course and the instructor of the course. And you can add another one. For example, let's change the instructor to John. Again, we added the course and the instructor. And we did nothing else rather than adding the course through the console. Of course, in this case, you need a, a form to add a new course, but we just used the console to make this fast. So this is the magic of Vue.js. Everything is reactive and the user experience is just amazing. With the end of this video, it's now time to move to the new course where we use Vue.js and Laravel together. This is where we will continue learning Vue.js. So time to use Vue.js in a real world project.